Don't you find it funny that for years people have been trying to get these interviews with R. Kelly to get him to talk about certain allegations and rumors that have surrounded his career for years? It's funny that we watch all of these interviews with other people who have incriminated so many other people, including themselves, and nobody understand what I'm putting on these platforms for you to discern yourself. See, at this point, it doesn't even matter what you think about R. Kelly, because the facts will prove that his whole case was manufactured and if they had any solid evidence to prove the things that they allege, they wouldn't have had to go in overdrive manipulating the public with the media. Get the bag, get the bag. Y'all niggas know what it is. You know we get the bag. How is it that the game manager, Ray J manager, and Blueface's manager First of all, it's on the internet screaming, free R. Kelly. They say, you know, he got women out here talking about they put fingers in his You got a woman talking about she put fingers in your already got something in common. The only difference is you married to the police. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. He is not being stolen from with our small group that's working very closely to help him. And like I said, the main goal for Not Supposed to Be was to get it released for his birthday. That song has a lot of meaning to R. Kelly. It was not released properly in the sense of it went through the wrong channels. This person has taken control of the music and distributing it through uh, some brother love records. Um, and so it's not a direct R. Kelly. So please know that it's listed under Rob and all proceeds right now are going into a fund called Some Brother Love Records. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Now, just like it was revealed in trial, prosecutors were willing to make so many deals with these criminals to facilitate their allegations against Robert Kelly that people seemed to overlook the main purpose in my documentation considering nobody would believe the stuff that I personally saw playing out and saw myself being involved in when I don't know these fucking people no more than R. Kelly does. With that said, watching all of these people who made it their business to interfere with these investigations, beefing with each other online, exchanging in what police would call mutual combat, is why I can't take a lot of people's opinions serious about the topic at hand when they overlooked why I gave Robert Kelly reasonable doubt for all the janky shit that was going on around him that he probably had no idea about. Now, if you review why a man was denied his right to have a bond while all these people claim to be acting on his behalf, doing the most in an open investigation, it should be clear why I decided to, again, document it, separate myself from the bullshit, and show you the type of people opportunists, some may say, who decided to surround themselves around Robert Kelly, having him looking hella crazy while people are robbing him blind. 
Now, frankly, the government didn't have a problem with all these people spewing all this propaganda out here, exercising their so-called freedom of speech, even though I pinpointed a lot of this janky ass evidence. The government didn't have a problem with people having the opportunity to intimidate their so-called bad act witnesses on these platforms. And obviously, the government don't have a problem with these retards on these platforms abusing the laws while they turning a blind eye as long as they can make R. Kelly look guilty of something, right? But the gag is, some of us could not be intimidated to continue to turn a blind eye while people made a mockery of all of the shenanigans they participated in that they need to be held accountable regardless how they feel about me pointing it out and why I documented it in real time as these so-called federal agents watched these platforms and selectively picked what they wanted to use against Robert Kelly. Now make that shit make sense. <laughs>